women created a problem in Shabarimala. On behalf of those women, I apologize. And as a woman, I feel responsible that we women should clear this. I undertook a study of the Shachakra temples associated with Shabrimala, guided by Sri Arvind Subramaniam Ji. I visited all the five temples except for Shabrimala. I meditated in each of those temples to understand how the Chaitanyam of the temple impacts the female body. Every temple has a direct impact on the human body. It has a direct impact on our health. As devotees, you don't need to know this. You already know it through your experience. When we stand in front of the deity and fold our hands, we experience that. But when people ask this question, and it goes to Supreme Court, how should we answer? It is not enough that we have faith that we experienced it. We should be able to explain it. I have made a small attempt to explain that in this book. I will keep it very short. I will tell in just two lines. <laughs> Thank you, Jayanti. Coincidentally, tomorrow I am doing a session for Supreme Court advocates working on Shabrimala case in Delhi. And uh, I did not plan, but today to come here and get Bhagwan's blessings and all of your blessings is for me a very big green signal to go ahead and talk. So, thank you, Jayanji. Extremely grateful. What my study has revealed is that there are certain places which affect women's body differently. And Shabrimala is one of those places. If women in the menstrual age group enter Shabrimala, they will definitely have problems in the reproductive health. Their period will alter, they will have difficulty menstruating, and they could have severe menstrual disorders like PCOD and endometriosis. How and why I have explained in my book. There is one more temple in the Shachakra temples where women in this age group are not allowed beyond a point, And that is the Aryan Kao temple. I went there, but women could go up to a certain point. The minute I stood there and had the darshan of Bhagwan, I started tearing up. Now for someone who has never even been to many temples, this was very strange. I started tearing up and I could not stop. And then I met Arvindji and asked him, what is there in Aryan cow? Why is it having such an effect? But I actually understood something. After visiting Aryan cow, my own cycle changed. And there is a reason for these restrictions. At the same time, I started my study from the Bhagwati temple in Chengannur. When I visited that temple, my cycle actually aligned with the Earth's fertility cycle. That means you get your period with Amavasya. Every devotee who goes to Chengannur Bhagwati temple, if she is a woman in that age, she will experience how her health improves. But that same temple, I went the second time, there were at least 100 Ayapa Swamis. And after visiting that, in the presence of those Ayapa Swamis, my cycle was again disturbed. If just the presence of Ayapa Swamis can do that to your cycle, imagine going to Shabrimala, how it will disturb your health. So, the restriction on women is actually protection of women's fundamental right to health. And Shabarimala, by passing this rule, has been protecting women, not discriminating. We have to take so much pride 
in our traditional knowledge because it understood things so scientifically. Every temple will impact your health through the chakras. The nature of the Chaitanyam in a temple affects women differently and affects men differently. This is not discrimination. This is the beauty of the way we are created. Thank you. I will give just one last example. When I was researching Shabrimala, I wanted to see anywhere else in the world are there similar restrictions. I found two examples. Mount Athos in Greece and Mount Umin in Japan. Both these places are at an altitude of 5,000 feet and women are not allowed. Women of any age are not allowed. In fact, even female animals are not allowed. And there are many studies, not by Indians, by Americans, Europeans, there are many studies which prove that altitude impacts female fertility. And on the way to Shabrimala, Arvindji just educated me, there is Karimala, which is around 5,000 feet. So now you know why the 41-day yatra cannot be done by women. Everything, every tradition has a science to it. And we hope to present this to the court in the language of science. And let us see, maybe with all your blessings, this perspective will go through. Thank you so much. Thank you.